you wanted to do the most authentic game of a TV show ever? Of all the things that I've certainly done, 24 lent itself to a video game. Our number one statement was we wanted the game to make you feel like you were Jack Bauer. Be Jack Bauer. What would you want to do in life more than be Jack Bauer or Tony Almeida? Back in the first season, I said, this, unlike any movie I've seen, is a natural for a game. We're very keen not to do just like an extra episode, a hidden backstory, uh, you know, or like Jack Bauer as a little boy or some prequel or something like that. We wanted to provide an entire season of 24 as a game. The reason we went between season two and three was we didn't know who was going to be alive at the end of season three, much less season four, and now we're in season five. So we would have been way off if we would have tried to figure something like that out. So we knew we, if we put it between two seasons, we knew who we had to work with, we knew what questions we needed to answer. So we looked at the, uh, the Fox message boards and you kept seeing questions like, how did Kim and Chase get together? How did Kim start working at CTU? How did Jack and Chase get together? How did Chloe enter the story? And we kind of took those questions and said, all right, well, which ones of these questions can we answer? And we, I think, hit most of them. No one really knows why Kim ever ended up at CTU or how she got there. It's sort of just, bam, season three and she's there. So it's, the game is nice because it, it, it sort of fills in those holes. <laughs> We're heading in. We need to get on board and stop the detonation of the rice and cargo. Maintain positions. We cannot afford to make any mistakes. Let's go! Well, the plot of the game is really on two levels. Uh, very much like the series. Uh, he is trying to thwart an arms dealer, and then it develops into a terrorist action. And very much like the series, uh, Jack Bauer is limited with the resources that he has because there are certain people he can trust and certain people he can't. Another staple of our show are the moles and the people that you think are trustworthy that aren't. As we progress through the game, we're gonna actually see who was behind the assassination attempt on President Palmer. Uh, and we're gonna see people working for him that are hell-bent on causing another very distressful day in Jack Bauer's life. The wonderful thing about this, as opposed to the television show, is it really is up to the gamer to decide in which direction uh, the story will play out. The game involvement was a wonderful uh, symbiotic relationship. They knew that they needed to make it look like our show and we had a style that we developed which was distinctive and they came to me and said, can you make it work for you? And so one of the big challenges was I wanted to make sure the framing, the multiple boxes and the colors of the set of the LA were interpreted in the game and they had of course a challenge to write a special algorithm so everything would feel shaky and, and emulate the kind of handheld kind of qualities that we have and we worked extensively feeding quick time movies back and forth across the Atlantic to kind of achieve that and I, and I know that they've done that. I've, I've seen the game at the party the other night and it's incredible, it's really scary. <laughs> Literally we had to look at the actual shows and then break down the kind of sets and think of okay what locations they got, what warehouses what kind of buildings they're using, what kind of architecture they're generally filming. And then we had to kind of think, you know, okay, we get all that, now how can we reproduce it into a game? When we were taking photographs of CTU, you just realise how much detail there is actually on set. There's cups, there's folders, there's badges, there's insignias, there's logos, there's uh, piles upon piles upon piles of actual material actually in there in order to make the actual look of the show look so rich, dense and varied. Yeah, one thing about the, the um, split screens for um, in-game, we had various ideas of the ways we could transfer that into the game. So we had things like um, security cameras. So a security camera comes up in-game and you can actually we get the split screen effect. So you see on one screen what the security camera is watching and you see yourself playing the game in the other. I want answers! What's the assassination plan? 
hardly a week goes by if you're watching the show where, where Jack doesn't have to catch the bad guy and extract some critical information from him before something really bad's gonna happen. We're hoping that fans of the show are gonna be the fans of the game. Uh, and the interrogation sequences has been a staple uh, in 24 from seasons one through straight through to season five. They're going to be able to choose the way to interrogate a specific person uh, to try and effectively get the information from them. You know what the plan is. It's nothing to do with me. And the mechanic that we use is really based around a kind of the idea of a stress graph where um, you're able to kind of ask questions that are gonna uh, influence the stress level of the character. And only when it's in a certain area are you gonna be able to get the truth and the answers you need from that character. So basically I did photographs in sort of this 360, 45 degree angle freeze, no smile, in costume type thing, and then they sort of created this sort of virtual Kim Bauer out of it. I was actually very pleased. Regardless of whether or not I like the way I look, the image in the video game more than resembles my image. One of the photographs that was taken by Rodney was shown to me by the image that they had created. It was very hard to tell them apart. It was critical for us to bring along a military advisor and his role on the game was to basically advise us on procedures and methods of reloading ammunition, um, taking people down, holding hostages, how to arrest somebody correctly and also teaching us a bit about the weapons and getting the actors to know the feel of the weapons and the weight of them so that when we go along to the motion capture he actually came along with us in order to kind of supervise and make sure that we were doing everything in a realistic manner. We tried to bring as many characters from the show into the game as possible because I think that for the fans it's, it's one of those great things to see all these characters. To not know exactly who is going to be there, but to hope to see all of your favourite characters from the show, I think is a big part of, of adapting a TV show to a game. We have uh, Kim Bauer, Jack's daughter. It's cool. She's she's a lot more aggressive. Also, she's a lot more active um, as far as fighting and, and the gun stuff and, and really being more hands-on in, in the role of, of saving what's what's going down in, in, in CTU and in the world. You also get to play the other major characters, Tony, Chase from uh, season three, and uh, on top of that, there's some hidden characters for like you know more one-off kind of like bonus and kind of like uh, secret missions that like I wouldn't want to reveal, but like there's about five or six. Yeah. Who's in charge? I play Peter Madsen. I'm the, uh, I'm the bad guy. I was on Jack's side a long time ago, but um, something went awry and uh, he court-martialed me. And so I just have not gotten over that. And so I tried to take it out on him, the United States, and anybody else that gets in the way. All I can tell you is that my character makes it a really fun ride. Um, he's got a lot to do with a lot of stuff, and can't tell you how it, how it, how it goes down, but um, you have to play and find out. We were very lucky to have on board for 24 The Game a lot of the cast and crew from season two and season three. At a voice recording session, it was a fantastic experience to meet Kiefer Sutherland and Rico Ellsworth, Carlos Bernard, Alicia Cuthbert for the first time. It really brings the game to life um, when, you, when you see these uh, cinematic sequences and the in-game sequences where you've got uh, these characters delivering uh, lines that, you know, they, they've been these characters for four years. No one knows better than them uh, how they're supposed to deliver these performances to get the reaction that the audience is used to seeing. Uh, and so just having, having that material to work with just made our job, you know, so much easier. It's not an opportunity that we have on the show. When I go to do a scene in the show, I've already pretty much made up my mind about how I'm going to attack that scene. 
So for me, this was a fantastic opportunity to try a lot of different things. What was fantastic about it was just the incredible variety uh, that you were required to play a scene five different ways at five different volumes, five different intensity levels. Uh, the interrogation sequences are probably the best and easiest to explain. Uh, that there would be a kind of a mild interrogation. Robert, is there a code for the door? I need you to tell me what it is. And they would ramp up to a very intense interrogation. This is your last chance. I want the code. Give it to me now. And that was, that was an exercise for an actor. One of the most important things, I think, in a game that's a third person um, gun-based game like 24 is getting the shooting mechanic right. Um, particularly if, if you're playing Jack Bauer, you've obviously got to be able to feel like you're able to take on the bad guys just as confidently and capably as, as Jack would. We try to access the players in two ways. Hardcore would probably want to go fully manual and be able to, you know, you know fine-tune their aiming and do headshots for basically younger players or just people who don't want to be bothered with, with you know, fine-tuning. And we have a completely automatic system as well that allows you uh, just to, to take it easy and, and enjoy the game. It's incredibly exciting to be involved in anything that you believe is the forefront of technology. On the show, they try to beat their previous cliffhanger in the previous episode, and we're trying to do that exactly the same in the game. But it's just a fun, action-packed, smart video game. If you're a fan of 24, this is a no-brainer. You get to be Jack Bauer.